In this video, we're going to look at bookmarks, hyperlinks, and cross-references in Microsoft Word. So bookmarks can be found under Insert, and then the Links section, and then the button Bookmark. And here you'll see any bookmarks that already exist, and you can click on them to jump to them by clicking Go To. Then you can also use this to delete existing bookmarks, and they'll simply disappear from the list. And this is also where you would add bookmarks. Now I want to add a bookmark to the word micronutrients. So I've selected the word. I'm going to go to insert and choose bookmark. And then I'm going to type in the name that I want the bookmark to be under. So I can't use the little dash that's in the, well, the hyphen that's in there. So I'll use an underscore, put in the words micronutrients and click add. And now if I go into bookmarks, it will be there as well. You can also see your bookmarks by going to home and going to go to under the find options and if you select bookmarks then you can see the bookmarks that are there and simply click on go to there. To insert a hyperlink in Word you're simply going to go to the insert tab and find the links section same place where the bookmarks were and there's a button for links. So I'm going to link this text in green I'm going to select it, I'm going to click on link, and then we've got different options here under insert hyperlink, existing files or web pages, so we can actually just copy and paste a URL from the web, we can link to another document, or we can find a place in this document. So you can go to the top of the document, existing headings, and you'll also see your bookmarks at the bottom there. So I want this one to link to the heading, why do we eat food, click OK, and you see it becomes blue and underlined. If you put your mouse over it, you can control and click and jump to that heading. This heading appears under the link options because it's set to heading one style. And other heading heading two, heading three, etc. styles will appear under the links options as well. This one where it says back to top, I'm going to hyperlink to the top of the document. So I'm going to go select it again, click on insert, link, and still place in this document but I'm going to choose top of document. And one of the other options we can add here is a screen tip and that will appear when you hover over the link. So as you can see there, it now says return to top, control click to follow link. And there it pops to the top of the document. If you've got related information in your document that you might want to link toward, uh, to, then you might want to use cross-references. So I'm going to use a reference here. So I've got the word micronutrients. And earlier we made a bookmark for more information on that. So I'm going to replace this green arrows with a cross-reference. And that you can find under insert cross-reference, which is with bookmark and link. Alternatively, it's also under references, captions, cross-reference. Same thing. So here I've got reference type. Heading, bookmark, footnote, endnote, etc. And I'm going to look look for a bookmark. I've got the one on micronutrients, and I'm going to insert the bookmark text in this case. And I'm going to click on insert and close. And you'll see it now it highlights as a field. And if I control click on it, it will pop to where it was. And this one here, I'm going to cross reference these um, blue arrows. I'm going to cross-reference it to the organic garden bookmark that I have. So I'm going to go to insert, cross-reference, and again, I'm looking for a bookmark, but as you can see, there's headings and other options there. I'm going to click on organic, organic garden, and in this case, I want the page number to appear instead. And click on insert, and you can see there, it is another link, cross-reference, that you can jump to, and here's the organic garden information. So that's how you can sort of work with a large document and have links between it so that it's a bit easier to navigate, a bit easier to find information.